As promised, back at 6 o'clock, we get into the highlights of tonight's game between the Abilene Flying Bison and the Piney Woods Timberhogs. We're going to pick this one up in the top of the third where Piney Woods just flat out took over. Hogs at the dish. It's a 2-0 game, and this one is belted into the gap by Sir Modric Bland. A no-out double to start the inning. And the next batter for P-Dub at the plate, and he's going to take one for the team here. A smack from the ball right on his back. Now this is two on for the Hogs. Now next batter, same inning, same score, but that changes with this rocket into left field from Alton Gatson brings home his teammate. This is a three nil deficit now for the Flying Bison later in the inning. What became a story for Abilene's pitcher, a big walk will now load the bases. You just cannot have it. And next hitter, what do you know? Right here, same result. A walk with the bases loaded brings home another timber hog four to nothing score now now that's where we see Luke Lynn who sets it up perfectly for him this is one of Burt's favorite plays y'all the sacrifice fly that brings home another p-dub player and that that right there folks is a five to nothing lead and unfortunately that was going to seal this one early an eight run inning gives the Timberhogs a 10 to nothing lead as we enter the final third of this game. Now, moving on, let's talk some Junior Olympics. Here in the Concho Valley, we have greatness walking among us in 11-year-old uh, Seth Saldivar. Now, Seth just won gold at the AAU Junior Olympics. You see him right there. Look at him. He's getting ready to go, and he's about to fling that thing. Look, he's about to fling that joker. There we go. You see him on your screen, and luckily for us, we were able to capture the moment where the jewelry was placed over his head. And our gold medalist goes to Seth. Seth Saldivar from San Antonio, Texas. San Angelo. From San Angelo, Texas. Yeah, yeah, that's right. San Angelo, you got to say it right now. Now, you can see several family members were able to make the journey to support Seth. Next, he will be preparing over the next few days for his very first discus competition on Saturday at 8 a.m. And Britton Musall's Dallas Cowboys were in full pads today. My middle school football coach, Coach Irvin, would say these young men are getting ready to click clack. And boy, the Cowboys got after it today, especially in the trenches. Now, the Cowboys offensive line needs all the reps it can get, especially because they're going to be adding new left tackle Tyler Guyton into the mix. Now, this year's first round pick looks good, even going up against Micah Parsons on a few reps. Meanwhile, second round pick Marshawn Neeland got his first taste in pads who have an opportunity to step up big time after the season ending injury to defensive end Sam Williams. Definitely excited to be able to go out there and really hit for real. Uh, made some plays and you know, obviously you're just getting better. I mean, it was a great day. Lots of physical collisions, you know, getting our legs back up under us. Finally having somebody, you know, in front of us and going truly, you know, 110% live reps. So it was good for the guys. Lots of great work, lots more to come for sure. Now that'll wrap up round one of sports, but round two is coming soon, y'all. You gotta keep it here after the break. 